So yeah, that was a session from earlier this week. Just been skating the nano rats for a few sessions, just haven't been filming it. I'm gonna set you guys on a tripod and let's talk about it for a minute. All right, we're gonna keep this one short and sweet because honestly, I mean, there's a lot to talk about, but there's not a lot to talk about because these are very similar. Let's get that to focus. These are very similar to the wheels I've been skating for quite a long time, which is, those who don't know or you're new to the channel, I love the uh, X97 formula. And this is very, very, very similar. As far as the formula goes, it's very similar. I feel like maybe it is a tad bit harder. Maybe not quite like the X99s, but maybe like an X98. There's a few key differences in these. Yes, they are a PAL wheel instead of a Bones wheel, but that's negligible. That's basically the same thing. The biggest reason why I want to try these is because the shape got me. If you can see on this outer edge, it's just like the Nano Cubics where it has a rounder outer edge and then like a lock-in inner edge. And you know, I really like the uh, the Nano Cubic wheels, but I didn't like how wide they were, especially as you can see, I do a lot of no slides and things like that. Um, they, they drug a little bit. So I didn't think they'd be different enough from the X97, so I've been holding off, so I'm a little late on this video. But they are slightly different and in good ways, only in improvements. So as, as you can see from like these no slides that you saw earlier and these ones right here, maybe I'll put it right there, is they slide, they slide super good. And that, that curb, not really waxed. But yeah, they slide super well, just like the X97s, but maybe even just that hair of a difference of slideability. The biggest, the biggest thing I noticed that helped me a lot is my 50-50s felt like I was locking in so much better and more stable on the curb. As you can see, like some of them I was grinding, those are probably some of my longest like backside slappy 50-50s. So I was feeling more confident getting into them and probably the roundness here was also helping me get up into them a little easier. So it is like the perfect, it's like the perfect wheel. So far, I mean, it's the perfect wheel. One downside that I just noticed right here, there is a chunk, probably can't see that. There's a chunk missing right there, but it's super small and that could happen with any wheel. My curb spot there is, uh, it's not the smoothest ground and these wheels make it feel really good. They keep speed super well, even on the crusty ground. I've been skating in front of my house as well and the ground is even worse out there and I haven't had any complaints. As you can see, I did one kickflip at the end. My knee is still kind of hurt. Um, so I laid off the flip tricks and just got a nice little curb session. But yeah, the 50s are feeling really good. I finally got like a back 780 out. I was barely rolling as you saw there, but 
I was stoked because I've, I've never gotten a good one and I've always wanted to pop out of them and do like the full rotation. So I felt like I got that. I wasn't moving very fast, but the lock-in was helping me feel like I could adjust my feet. And I, that has to do with that, that inner. So it is, it is noticeable over the X97, the V5 shape, which apparently this is like the V5 shape of this, I don't know. But yeah, slightly harder, I feel like, but not, not that much not that much so as far as like sliding other than no slides like power slides and stuff man the the rougher the ground the more they slide i did have a session in my garage um, a couple days ago and that is like it's a garage it's smooth like concrete ground and i gotta say that they power slide and grip less than the x97s on like smooth concrete like that they felt pretty much normal, like a normal wheel. Maybe a tad bit grippier, but that's to be expected. You can't have the best of everything. Uh, before, before these ones, I was skating the um, Spitfire soft sliders again for a few sessions before this, and I was having a hard time keeping in 50-50s and even crooked grinds, and the, the crooked grinds are feeling good. Everything was just feeling good as far as the wheel goes. So yeah, there's not a whole lot else to say, I guess, except, Four, you should try these. They do have them in a lot of different sizes and shapes, so widths and stuff too. Said I wanted to keep this short. Yeah, I didn't think I would say this after the like my love for the X97s. Same formula, but these these are the best. These are the best wheels out right now, and that's the bottom line. Cause Sticker Steve said so.